crowd, my name is Madeline Leonard and I am the director of the Food TA Briefings Agency. Based here in Los Angeles, although our artists are on both coasts and we do a lot of work pretty much all over the world. Uh, you know, my advice to makeup artists is if it's your passion, don't give up. Uh, if you need to get a day job, try and do something that relates to makeup or have a schedule that allows you to make time for makeup. Uh, keep assisting, keep doing makeup. You know, you may end up being a bridal makeup artist. Uh, there's a lot of people that need makeup, uh, whether they have agents or not. And uh, stick with it. Uh, there are some good industry trade publications, um, Makeup Artist Magazine, and of course now websites like this one. Uh, it's, I would recommend that makeup artists spend some time uh, looking into those specific things. But they're very helpful. The makeup shows, and there are several different companies that are doing great makeup shows, have become very extensive. They've got great exhibitors, they've got great panels. Um, very informative. I would recommend those as well. Researching and uh, taking classes, you know, it really all depends. If you are going into film um, and you need to learn how to do special effects or period makeup, of course, you need to be educated. In the beauty and fashion world, you will rarely be asked, were you, were you educated? Uh, so it, it, it's a little bit different. Um, as far as having to know the industry and the names of photographers, and that's something you learn as you go, and it's certainly something when you have an agent, uh, they will help you with that as well. Of course, also great knowing what to close. Um, that's harder to do on your own, and an 